Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we saw how to write a simple to do smart contract using Solidity. And we also saw how to deploy this smart contract and test it directly here inside the browser using JavaScript virtual machine. Now the next step is to deploy this smart contract to a test network. And to do that, we need two tools. The first tool that we have to install is the Solidity compiler. So with this tool, we will compile the Solidity file that we wrote inside Remix and generate two files. The binary file, which we are going to deploy to the Ethereum network. Okay, so this binary file will run inside what called an Ethereum virtual machine. And the second one is the ABI file. So this ABI file means application binary interface. Okay. So we know API, but this one is ABI. Okay. With this ABI file, we are going to generate a Golan code that we will use to interact with the Ethereum network and especially the contract that we deployed. Okay. But to generate this Golan code, we need the second tool, and this tool is ABI Gen. Okay, so to install the Solidity compiler, you have to come here inside the Ethereum Solidity repository, scroll down, and click on the Solidity documentation. Okay, so here we have the documentation to install the Solidity compiler. Okay, so you can use Docker. You can install for Linux or Mac OS. Okay. As I'm using Linux, I am going to copy this line. Past here. Okay. It's done. Now the second command, apt get update. Okay. So the second command, apt get update is finished. And let's do the last one. Okay, so let's check if I have the Solidity compiler now installed. I successfully installed the Solidity compiler. Okay. So the next tool that we have to install is ABI Gen. And to install this ABI Gen, before it, I am going to install Proto C. Okay, so this Proto C is using for compiling protocol buffer files. Okay. So it is not required, but we are going to install it to avoid any errors when we will use ABI Gen. And to install Proto-C, you have to come here inside protocol buffer slash proto buff. Okay. And inside the releases, you can download the last version. In my case, as I am in Linux, I am going to use and download this folder. Okay. I am going to use curl and the URL of the zip folder. Next is to unzip it using unzip. Okay. The destination folder and the zip folder. Okay. It's done. Okay. So now let's see what we got. Let's see the inside proto folder and list. So we got two folders and a text file. Now we have to move the binary inside the bin folder. Okay. So the proto C this one and move it inside the go bin. Okay. So move. Okay. It's done. So let's see if we have now proto C. Okay. So we just successfully installed proto C. Okay. So the last tool that we have to install is ABI Gen. Okay. So this ABI Gen, we can install it directly from Go Ethereum package. Okay. So the tool, we will found it here inside CMD and ABI Gen. Okay. So let's see how we can install it. First, we have to go get this repository. Go get the Go Ethereum package. Okay. The next step is to move inside this Go Ethereum package. Okay. So there is two folders where you can find this Go Ethereum package. The first one is 
inside the github folders okay so go src and github.com okay so here you try to go inside ethereum and go okay go ethereum if you don't found it it means that you are currently using modules so you have to go back and move inside the package module okay github ethereum and go ethereum okay so now we have to run make dev tool okay so this make dev tool is going to install abi gen for us so let's run it the make dev tool is finished and if we run abi gen we should have this tool abi gen help okay so as you can see we have now the version 1.10 okay okay so these are the different tools that we need to deploying our application so let's stop here and in the next video we are going to see how to deploy our smart contract to a test network so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye